Yo, what is going on guys? Back to you back and today we are doing the crypto cast and it's going to be a quick one. Um I didn't see too many things that are uh like huge breakout stories, but we'll see if we can find something through this, but uh one of the one of the big things that happened throughout this week is the market recovered a little bit. Um it kind it had a day where it kind of took off. Things went up 10%. Um Bitcoin broke through 7,000, so right now it's standing at 7,300 about, so it's actually, it's not too bad. Um, it went up, I mean, it, it at one point it was up almost $1,000, which is not insane for crypto by any means, but it's it's a good start to see the market start to recover. We've been in a, a real bear market for a while now, so... We're seeing the Bitcoin came back, Ethereum came back to like over 500, but it's fallen since then. So it's at 448 right now. Um, Bitcoin and Ethereum, I think, I mean, everyone knows Bitcoin controls the market, but I just, I want to see other coins come up. So obviously I'm huge into Litecoin and I believe in everything that Litecoin's doing and what the coin could possibly do. Um, I would love to see Litecoin uh, break into the top three and take over uh, Ripple that's in number three right now because I think I think the three coins should be Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Um, obviously, Bitcoin, just it's Bitcoin. It's always going to be the biggest. It's always going to really control the market and have people's interest. And everyone knows Bitcoin. Or for the most part, people know more people know Bitcoin than they know any other coin. So... That makes that if that makes sense, but it should be Bitcoin, Ethereum, and uh, Litecoin because those coins, in my opinion, are the ones that where have the most uh, utility. So, um, not maybe not utility, maybe that's not the right word, but the right. They're the three coins that I believe should be running the crypto market. It should be like uh, the Fortune 500 companies in stocks. They kind of they don't run the market, but they have like. The sense of how the market is and i think you should be able to judge the market um based off bitcoin ethereum and litecoin it's only three coins so obviously it's not going to be like the whole market but it's i think those three coins are the ones that can control the market and once everything starts taking over they're the ones who are going to be able to actually take off so um we see the market cap at uh 276 billion so that's up the point of uh, what i forget the word but it's like uh the support where the support comes in for the coins like new support levels have been built because this stuff the coins went up in value a lot and today is the red day and it's down they're only down litecoin's down five percent bitcoin's only down one percent so i mean support levels are rising which is a huge huge plus um Bitcoin support level, I mean, could be around like the 7,200, where if it hits that, it's probably not going to drop below that or not too far below that. Um, Ethereum, again, Ethereum is really hard to judge now, right now, because it's it's kind of all over the place. It's It was over 500, now it's, it's down $60 from there, so it's kind of hard to judge where its support level might be. Uh, Litecoin is at $82, so... This is where I, I do a bunch of my research and predictions on Litecoin in my own time, you know, behind the scenes, because that's the coin I'm really into and the coin that I have have the most invested in. So I have um, I have their support level at just about $82. I have it like, I have it at $82 right now. So I think that if it hits 82, that people are going to start either buying into it or it's going to kind of settle down and kind of ride flat for a while and where people then start buying into it. But I don't think it's going to go back down to its like 70, $76, $73 range again. Uh, unless obviously it could, it, it could. So unless the stuff change and support levels change all the time, um, this is just based off of what I think. I, I still have to go into the graphs and look at all that, but I honestly think, you know, $80 is a good level for Litecoin right now. Um, I think if it drops below that, it's a good time to buy into it um, because it, it's probably it's most likely going to go back over $80 and kind of hover around there for a while. 
Um, unless some huge adoption thing comes in, in which case I think the price would skyrocket. Um, one of the, that's, I mean, that's about it for this, for the starting, for the market recap here. I think, like I said, the Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, I mean, I don't think there's any other coins really that are super main, not really super mainstream, but like the mainstream coins. I don't think at least that I know of, you know, to put in like that category where it's like if we look at them they should be able to dictate what the market's doing because obviously it's if bitcoin's up everything's up if bitcoin's down everything's down and i think we need to kind of uh change that it's never going to change but we kind of need to include more coins in that to say like you know if if bitcoin's down but ethereum's up and litecoin's up then you know the market's in a decent place or if vice versa if if bitcoin and litecoin are up and ethereum's down the market's still in a decent place you know to judge it off of just one coin is really hard because obviously bitcoin could be up and everything else could be down or bitcoin could be down everything's going up let's just see like bitcoin is down one percent nothing huge not not too huge and if you look through the market everything's down if you scroll all the way down here uh mithril never heard of the coin don't know what it is but it's up two percent uh kin again don't know what the coin is but it's up almost eight percent uh De decentraland is up almost seven percent like these coins are still up bitcoin's down and most of the market's down but there's still coins out there that aren't down that are going up on days where bitcoin's going down and going up when days and bitcoin's going up so there could be days where or weeks where they go without losing percent which would be i mean you can't judge the market off one coin. Everyone does, but I would want to see a group of coins, even more than uh, Litecoin and Ethereum being put in there. Um, because I, I would say probably at least 10 coins. Um, even if you took the top 10, and Tether is actually number 10, so that's kind of would throw the market off a little bit. But if you took the top 10, they're all in the red, but... I mean, if you took all of them and like judge them on days to judge the market, I think that would be a way, way better way to do it for people to actually uh, analyze the market instead of just looking at Bitcoin. Um, I obviously I don't think people who really know what they're doing are just looking at Bitcoin and seeing if it's up or down and investing based on that. But um, so like I said, this is gonna be a, a real quick one. I have one other topic that I actually was. Um, involved in let me pull it up it was on twitter they started this uh hashtag twitter coin and they uh it was like something i saw it on charlie lee's twitter he like he did the thing you had to quote the tweet before you or go on like this external website and it showed like the list of people and the top list like the newest person you have to go to their tweet quote it and then you can write out whatever you want and tag hashtag uh twitter coin and like the tag the bot or whatever yeah i have the tweet right here actually um so my, i was 179 I, and i said didn't understand at first but after seeing this really neat and it's kind of explaining the blockchain which is obviously like really really neat i really like this it was it's a cool idea um <coughs> To kind of explain how the blockchain works, and I'm not going to pretend to be a blockchain expert and someone who's like, I, I know every single step of blockchain. I understand it for the most part, and I understand, you know, how it goes about working. Um, I, like I said, I'm not going to pretend to be an expert by any means, but uh, I'm definitely gonna. This this like experiment thing was really cool i saw it on charlie lee's twitter so if you don't follow him i would follow him for sure he's he's got a bunch of awesome information on crypto and he talks about litecoin adoption and, and all this stuff and people you know give him crap about what he did when he sold his litecoin stuff but he's he's a great guy and he's a great uh great way to kind of stay in the loop with crypto especially litecoin because obviously that's what he's in but he can he can read the market too and he tweets out stuff when he sees uh you know other coins doing something good or when litecoin partners and it's just a great twitter to follow but but this uh this like twitter coin was 
actually got a lot of people. I mean, 179 people is really, it's really good, honestly. Um, I mean, I had almost 14,000 impressions on it. So it was, people were seeing it and I hope people were engaging in it. I just, I just really want to uh, kind of see if I can pull up this list here and see what the number's at now because that I want to see if it's actually like taking off or not. Um, but it was it was something that like you got to experience like be a part of it and it's not like you you got to read it and like oh now I understand blockchain but it was like an experiment and you got to be a part of it and actually experience what it, what it's like to uh, be like a, a crypto coin like but um here hold on I think it's this one so we should be able to see what number it's on let it load up yep 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 so it's on 215 right now so it's going up for sure it's going up um a lot of this is just what i like to see like it's like a crypto community like coming together trying to kind of explain blockchain to people like i said i'm not going to pretend like i